Hello everyone and welcome aboard. We have a how-to video for you today on how to enter and exit the United States of America with a US vessel. I actually was smashing my face against my keyboard for the last week trying to figure out how to make this video for you guys. I've got footage of me driving to Long Beach. I've got tens of minutes of me talking to you in the camera, my apartment. And I decided to throw all of it out because the system is not that difficult. That took probably five minutes. Very easy. So we are gonna do it now in under two minutes. Let's get started. So the first thing you'll need is a list of everything you have to take with you. On that list, you have your ship's registry, your certificate, your documentation, whatever it is that your boat calls it, you will need that. You will need the passports of all of the crew. That's number two. Number three, you will need a Form 1300. Form 1300 is titled Vessel Entrance and Clearance Statement. You will actually need two of those, one for when you leave and one for when you come back. Then you'll need a Form 1303. Form 1303 is your ship's stores declaration. That is a statement that says of everything you're on the vessel. You'll need one of those and you'll need one of them for when you enter, but not when you leave. Then you'll also need a Form 1304. The Form 1304 is the same as the Form 1303, but instead of the ship's declaration, it is the crew's declaration. So whatever the crew brings into the United States, once again, only need one of those, that's for when you re-enter. Then what you do is you say, hey, Customs and Border Patrol office near me, Vessel Operations, I'm gonna be leaving the country, and they'll say, all right, when do you want your appointment to be? It needs to be within 48 hours of you leaving. You set up your appointment, you go up there, you hand them your Form 1300, they read through it. The Form 1300 is right here. What the Form 1300 says is the first half of it is all your boat's information and where you are going. The second half of it is for if you're a cargo ship or any other sort of commercial vessel where you have oil on board, fuel, wheat, whatever it is, you don't have to worry about that section because you're a pleasure boat. So ignore that section, do the top section. Then you take your form, you get it signed off, they look at your registration, they say, all right, have a fun time wherever you're going, and you head off within 48 hours, of course. And then, same system. You're sitting on a beach in Mexico, you're ready to come back to the United States, you call them up, you say, hey, I'm gonna be entering the United States here shortly. They say, great, here's an appointment for you, come on by, you drive your boat back. You can stop at a custom system in like San Diego, for example, for the West Coast, or to get your boat searched, things like that. If you are independently stationed away from those places, we typically just go back to the port and then we drive up to vessel operations and then you give them all that information that we went through earlier. So you give them another Form 1300. This time it says entering instead of exiting. You give them all your passports, check back into the country for the whole crew. And then you give them the 1303 stores declaration, ships declaration, and then the 1304 which is the crew declaration, and then they will sign off on all that and check you back into the country. If you are a foreign flagged vessel with US citizens, you can do the same process, but you need to file for a license permit for cruising. That is $19, and they typically just email it to you the next day, but you require all the same information. And that's how you get out and into the United States in under two minutes. Be sure to check out the captainsreview.com. We have all these great shirts, merchandise, forums, articles on all these topics that we talk about here in the videos. So check that out, thecaptainsreview.com. And then also stay tuned because we're gonna have another video of this process that is online. There is a system with an app called cbp.rome and you are able to use that app to check in and out from your mobile device. And they'll give you a video call, video chat, talk to you in person, over the phone, not in person, and you'll be able to check in and out that way. It's just brand new, so the system I just showed you guys, I've been using, but probably gonna have to shift to the new system here real soon. Thanks for sailing with us, and enjoy your day.